In this next example, we talk about uh, the programmatic differences between a left join and a right join. And I'm going to go out on a limb for a minute and say that most of the time when you're doing complicated queries from several tables, you're going to be doing inner joins on the big data tables, and you're going to be doing left joins on possibly other data tables, but usually things that are more like lookup tables. Um, you will almost never use a right join. There, I said it. Um, you can, but un unlike unlike um, parsing functions like a left function or a right function when you're trying to take the text on the one side or other of a word, and those are very different, um, a left join and a right join do exactly the same thing. Just, you know, you just have to twist, you know, turn around or transpose which table comes first in the from clause. The, other than that, they have basically, they, they have identical functionality, but let's let's go through it and show it. Um, first of all, let me just show you in this uh, database the employees table and the department table, just so you can see what we're getting into. Now, you notice that there are 11 employees, employee records, and there are six department records. Now, in a perfect world, you know, there's companies that have departments and departments have employees, now in real life, an employee belongs to one department. They don't belong to like 15 of them. They don't belong to zero, unless you're a stapler guy on um, office space. But anyway, um, I wanted to mess up this data a little bit to make it kind of like a real live system. Uh, this, this DP key is the, uh, the primary key for the department table. And it's a lookup table. But over here, the, um, the employee table has its own DP key, which is a foreign key. That means that each employee is supposed to have one of the numbers that matches in this table. So although like the number four over here for DP key in the department table would be unique, it's a one to many in the employee table because several people could belong to that department. Now, here's what I did to totally trash this data. One of the people in this table, one of the employees, this guy named some guy, he has no DP key, it's null. And then this other guy, Bubba Lubba, I gave him a negative one, which is impossible. It's an impossible value, but it's not null. But basically, they're, they're sort of um, orphaned they, in the respect that they don't belong to departments. Poor guys. They never get invited to parties. But what I also did, if you notice, the people that have legitimate departments, it's always the num from the numbers one to five. None of them say six. Not that that's a big deal, but there is a department with a DP key of six, and nobody works there. So if somebody wants to call with complaints, you know, too bad. There's nobody working in the complaint department. That's why they always say, put your complaints here. So anyway, so the, the database is a little rickety, meaning that there's problems with it. But that's the best way to show how this stuff works. If we do a simple inner join, which this isn't about, this is the difference between left and right, but you still need to see an inner join so that you can appreciate the real functionality of the left join and the right join. Okay, remember, there are 11 employees, and there are, there are six departments, but for the, for the records that match in both tables, there's nine employees and five departments. So if we run this inner join, basically we're going to take the first name and last name of the employee from the one table, and then the description, or the long name of the department from the department table, and we ha they have to match where the DP key from departments is the same as the DP key from employees. So let's just run that. And so here's the nine records that we are expecting. These are all the ones that cleanly match. These are all the employees that had a matching legitimate value in the department table. But remember, there's two employees that are not showing up over here. And there's also a department that's not showing up, but that's less important. Um, this query might be to give out annual, but like end of the year bonuses. Well, if an employee isn't in there, they're going to get mad and they're going to go psycho. If a department's not in there, the department doesn't care. It's not a real thing, sort of. Now, let's show that now. So this this is showing nine records. Let's show a slight difference when we do a left join. It's exactly the same code, except that instead of the word inner, we say left. Watch what happens. Well, before I do this. A left join, all that this means, the difference between inner join means that each table that, that is being compared, in this case, employees and departments, if you're doing a join on the DP keys, that means that there has to be a match between both tables for a record to show up, or it doesn't show up. 
The difference with a left join is it takes the first table of the two, hence, you know, if I have this all indented, and, you know, on separate, separate lines, but the from clause, if we just wrote it out as one line, the first one that comes up is to the left of the next table. So employees is to the left of departments, so to speak. So the left table is employees. In a left join, what happens is it takes everything from the employee table, not just the ones that match, but everything. It's like Trump. But then in the department table, it still only takes the ones that match. So here's, here's the difference. Whereas this one has nine, whoops, whereas this one has nine records, this one will have 11 records. See? And the only difference is it took the two employees that didn't even have legitimate departments because it's a left join, and left join gives you more stuff than an inner join because it takes the first table and makes it more important and says, well, even if you're one of these guys without a department, you know, you're invited to the party, come on over. So they show up. Now what's different is, you know, what if we did a right join? Well, with a right join, it's going to do exactly the same thing, except now it favors the bottom table, or the one to the right, if you will, if this is all on one line. So now, it's not going to take these two employees, let me, actually, let me, let me close a couple of these windows, they're starting to get on my nerves, there we go. Now what's going to happen is, in this case, this left join took the two extra employees, but when we do the right join, instead what's going to happen is it's not going to take the two extra employees, but it's going to take the one extra department. So here's what, we're going to have 10 records. We have the nine employees that had a match, but then we also had the complaint department, which is one more department that didn't have a matching um, employee. So what happens is when we right join, it takes all the stuff matching in employees and then everything from department. So it has the sixth department right there. Whereas when we do the left join, it takes the things that are all connected, but even all the extra records from employees. So we have, in this case, the two extra employee records versus, in this case, because it's, it's favoring the right table, it's also taking the extra department and the other two employees don't show up. So that's basically the difference between left join and right join. If we wanted to get these results by doing a left join, all we would have to do is this. And this is why I say that this stuff is interchangeable. It's going to do exactly the same thing. Now when I run this, I'm still going to get the complaint department to show up and not those other two people. So now they're both left joins. So the left join and right join, really there's nothing different about them except which table comes first in the query and that's all that that means. Hope this is helpful.